What's going on guys, it's your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Dreamcast emulator called Redream. So let's head over to redream.io, the link to this page is in the description below. Now before we download this emulator I have to let you know that this emulator is free to use but in order to use high definition graphics and have multiple save state slots per game you will have to upgrade to the premium version. Click here where it says upgrade to premium then you have the option to pay $6, $8, $10 or $20. No matter how much you pay you will get the extra features unlocked so of course just go with the $6. Now I wish everything was free with this emulator, but it's not. But if you do upgrade, I promise you will love it. Now back on the home page, let's scroll down and we have our stable release. The last time this was updated was four years ago and we have our development release with the latest one being as the recording of this video, 18 days ago. Now there is nothing wrong with this stable release. This emulator works with 95% of Dreamcast games. You won't have any issues, but we're gonna go with the development build. And this emulator is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Raspberry. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna download for Windows. Just click the icon. Now, if you don't have 7-Zip installed on your computer, I have a link in the description below. We will use this program to extract the emulator file. Okay, so here's the Redream file on my desktop. Now we need to use 7-Zip to extract it. Once you have 7-Zip installed, all you need to do is right click on it, go to show more options, 7-Zip and extract to Redream. This will create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip folder, so let's right click on that and delete it. Now let's open our new folder. And in here, you will find your emulator. Go ahead and open it. Now when you first open the emulator, it's going to say welcome, your game library is currently empty and it's going to let you know that your game file type must be .cdi, .chd or .gdi image. For example, here's a folder containing all of my Dreamcast ROMs. Now, when you extract a Dreamcast ROM, it will create a separate folder containing a bunch of files. Let's open 4 Wheel Thunder and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So inside of that folder, you have a bunch of bin files and at the bottom, you will see the most important file that makes it run within the emulator, the GDI file. Okay, back on Redream, go ahead and click, go to library, add directory, locate which drive contains your games. In my case, they're on my H drive. I'm gonna locate that folder right here. Then click add H or whatever drive you chose to library and your games will load in. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. And there you go. You can see all of our games have loaded in with box art. Okay, so let me show you what your video options look like in Redream without upgrading to premium. So if we go up the video, you will notice in here, there is no game resolution option. And when you pay for it, they will send you an email with this key. And to activate premium, you have to move this key into whatever folder or whatever you have Redream installed. In my case, Redream is installed in this folder on my desktop. So I'm just going to move the key into that folder. Now, if we go in here and reopen Redream, now if we go back up to video, you will see an option in here to change your game resolution. And we're going to go ahead and up this to 1440p and this can go all the way up to 4k something else i like to do is change my aspect ratio to 16 to 9 to play in full screen you don't have to do this you can leave it at 4 to 3 if you would like and if you want to see your frame rate then you can go down here to frame rate counter and you can turn this on and see your frames in game now let's go over to input you can use up to four controllers with this emulator and port one is player one. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now under input device, we're gonna change this from keyboard to Xbox One because I am currently using an Xbox One controller. Now, the great thing about Xbox One controllers is that the layout for your Y, X, A, and B buttons are the same exact layout on an Xbox controller. And a great thing about this emulator is that you don't have to map your buttons out. The emulator will automatically map them out for you. 
Now, if you did want to change one of the buttons around, all you would do is click on the button you want to change. So let's say we wanted to change the A button. You would just click on A, it will say waiting, and then you hit whatever button on your controller that you want to become that A button. And now we're ready to load up a game. All you want to do is just click on the game you want to load. I'll do Jet Grind Radio. And your game should load. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.